Hello and welcome to Learn Xiangqi. Today, I will introduce you one of the most aggressive opening system in Xiangqi, the same direction canal system. This video will cover the basic concepts and principles behind this opening. The same direction canon is a classic opening system where red plays a central canon right off the start, and black responds by placing the central canon on the same side. As it looks like a reflection on a mirror, it is also being called the mirror canon. As both players are choosing the aggressive central canon move as the first move, this opening can easily lead to a very tactical game, which is favored by many tactical players. After black responds with the same direction cannon, many beginners would use the cannon to take the central soldier, but it would be a using cannon to shoot mosquito mistake. Black can move up his advisor, strengthening the defense. After red develops the right horse, black can develop his horse and gain the tempo by attacking red central cannon. The red cannon must retreat now and Black can easily develop his own chariot and occupy this important file. In this position, Black has developed three main pieces, while Red has only developed two. This is bad for Red, because the most important opening principle in Xiangqi is to develop the main pieces, the chariot, horse, and cannon, as soon as possible. Also, unlike chess, in Xiangqi, it is advisable to develop the most powerful piece, Chariot, to occupy the important lines at the earliest manner. Black has developed a Chariot here, while Red has developed none. It is a sign of poor development. So, when Black makes the same direction cannon move, the unprotected soldier is indeed a trap for Red. The book move here for Red is to develop the right horse to the central horse position. This move can develop the horse, open the space for the chariot to develop to this file, and protect the central soldier at the same time. A common beginner mistake here is developing the right horse to roast the angel. It is bad because, like the chest opening principle for a knight, in Xiangqi, it is also suggested to develop the horse to the central area where it could control more positions. Also, in this position, some players may choose to develop the horse on the weak side to the central horse position. While this is not necessarily a bad move, it is often better to develop the horse on the strong side first, because it allows our right chariot to develop to the nearby foul in the next move. In contrast, if you develop the weak side horse first, your left chariot should not develop to the nearby foul in the next move due to the threat of the black cannon. Some may ask what is the strong side and weak side I just mentioned. In Xiangqi opening, the defense highly relies on cannon, as the cannon is a mount to capture. The defense power of the cannon usually applies on another side, which means when the cannon is on the left, the right side is protected by the cannon and vice versa. In a central cannon formation, as one cannon has stayed on the central file, at least one side of its formation would be lack of cannon protection from another side, so it is the weak side. And the side that has protection from cannon on another side is considered the strong side. In this case, as red has moved the right cannon to the center, the right side is the strong side and the left side is the weak side. Once red has developed their right horse towards the center, black will also develop their left horse to the central horse position for the same reason. Then red could develop the right chariot to occupy this file. Black shouldn't move their chariot onto the same file now because it would initiate a disadvantageous exchange for black. In Xiangqi, while calculating for an exchange besides the values of the involved pieces, we shall also consider the tempo values of them, given that tempo is very important in Xiangqi opening. In this exchange, Red Chariot has moved twice and dead, so Red lost two tempos. For Black, it has lost three tempos as the Chariot moved once and dead, 
and the horse got back on the initial position after two moves. Therefore, black would lose one more tempo than red in this exchange. That's why black shouldn't make this move in this position. As the development of the chariot is vital, the most common move here for black to play is to develop its chariot a step forward to develop it from the third rank. Red develops the left horse to the center here. For black, now it's time to develop this ranked chariot so it could be further developed. There are two general principles of chariot development, which could guide us where to develop the chariot here. The first principle is to move the chariot to the most open position, so it could occupy as much space as possible. That's why the first move of the chariot is either to this open file or this open rank, but not the cannon rank, because the cannon rank is a closed rank where the chariot cannot control much positions. In this position, where the chariot has already developed to the third rank, in 80% of time, it shall be developed to the fourth or sixth files, the rip files, as they are open files by default. The second principle would be to develop the chariot towards the opponent's weak side. Therefore, in this position, black should move the chariot to the fourth file instead of sixth, as the horse on that side is not being protected at all. Some beginners often move the chariot to the sixth file instead, as the right horse also seems to be unprotected. However, this is a wrong perception, because even black could make two consecutive moves to take this horse. Red could capture this chariot by a discovered check. So the horse is actually indirectly protected, and the chariot shouldn't go for it. At this moment, an effective move for red would be pushing the soldier in front of the strong horse forward, because it can serve double purposes in one move by opening the path for the right horse to develop, while also limiting the movement of black's horse. In this position, many players, including many advanced players, tend to move the rip file chariot to the red soldier rank to attack the red left horse in the next move. While attacking unprotected horse is a common strategy in many sanity opening systems, it is not a good idea here. Red can just move its cannon one step to the right. So after black captures the soldier, red can move up the elephant. Then the cannon can protect the left horse. After spending four moves, the black chariot is on an ineffective position here, which is bad in terms of development efficiency. Some may argue that the chariot is blocking the development of the horse and pinning the cannon to protect the horse. But we have to keep in mind that the chariot worth 9 points, while the cannon and horse only worth 8.5 points in total. Using 9 points to block or pin 8.5 points is certainly not an efficient strategy. So this development is not good for black. Another mistake that beginners make is getting to rest third rank and trying to attack the rest unprotected horse from the back. However, it would be a typical trying to stop the horse by kicking its ass mistake. If the rat has moved this soldier up, all the attacking moves would simply help this horse to develop. You could learn more about this example by clicking the info card in the top right corner to watch a related video. The main issue with these two variations is spending too many moves on ineffective attacks, which would result in slow development. So, at this point, black should avoid rushing to attack, but developing its right horse to the central horse position. Red moves up this double purple soldier. Black develops another chariot to the third rank to get all strong pieces developed. In this position, the red has two very active horses. Red will try to make use of them to control more positions around the center of the board. While the black player has two developed chariots that could be used to initiate an offensive against red. I'm going to stop here to avoid getting too deep and make this video a chatty hours tutorial. In today's video, 
you have learned the basic variations of the same direction canon opening and multiple general opening principles. With these principles in mind, you can navigate through the opening successfully as red or black. Moreover, please note that Xiangji board is symmetrical, so the right and left mentioned in this video can actually be reversed. Also, for the sake of simplicity, I didn't cover all of the book moves in the first few turns of the same direction canal system. So, not all the moves that I didn't mention are bad moves. If you find this video helpful, please like this video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. You could play this game online on shashi.com by clicking the link in the video end screen. If you want to play over the board games, you could click the Amazon link in the description to purchase the Chinese chess set offered by Xiangxi.com. You could also join our Discord community by clicking the invitation link in the description. Stay tuned. I will see you soon.